Hello and welcome to Apache Camel tutorial. In this video, you will discover how flexible, deep and comprehensive Camel's error handling is and how to tailor it to deal with most situations. We will cover all the error handlers Camel provides out of the box and when they are best used. So you can pick the ones suited to your application. All right, so there are two types of um, um, errors, okay, as you know, in any application. One is irrecoverable errors and second is recoverable errors. So irrecoverable errors continue to be errors on subsequent attempts. What does it mean is, let's say I have a non-existing table. Does not matter how many times I retry, it's not going to work until somebody goes and, and creates that table. Right. So these type of errors are irrecoverable errors, right? Because we know it doesn't matter how many times you, you retry, they, they are not going to work. On the other hand, the recoverable errors are, um, you know, the intermittent issues, which on retry, maybe first attempt, second attempt or third attempt, they might work. For example, let's say, you know, I have an existing table over here, as you can see. Uh, first time when I when I try to call that table due to some network issues, you know, I, I could not, okay? If I retry, maybe like, you know, not the, the network is now available, so I will be able to talk to that table and then I can recover from that type of errors. Um, so, irrecoverable errors, um, is, is represented as a message with a fault flag that can be set or accessed from uh, Exchange in, in Camel, right? For example, to set a known customer as a fault message, you would do uh, uh, something like this, right? You, you'll have say, Exchange, um, give me the message, and on the message, you will set fault equal to true, okay? And then you will uh, set some sort of body message so you can let your uh, consumer know that, okay, you know, this thing cannot be recoverable because customer does not exist okay you can't just go ahead and, and create customer for example on the other hand recoverable errors in camel they are uh, represented as a plain throwable or exception that can be set or accessed uh, accessed from from uh, your normal exchange okay and how do you do that you typically like you know whenever there is an exception or you like to throw an exception you you set it like that you can say void set exception this is throwable and when you want to get it back from the exchange you can say get exception and then you get that exception so you can you can you know run your business logic on top of it okay so question comes why are the two types of error represented differently right so the answer is first the camel api was designed around the java business integration what we call jbi specification which includes a fault message concept right so you can you can tell your consumer that you know what there is a fault with your request i cannot recover so that's a, that's a very standard way of notifying your your clients and that's exactly what camel is trying to implement over here secondly Camel has error handling built in uh, in its its core, right? So whenever an exception is thrown back to Camel, it catches it, sets the the thrown exception on the exchange as a recoverable error, as um, uh, as illustrated over here, as you can see, right? So let's say I have a processor, which throwing some sort of exception, I can set on my exchange that exception has occurred. So I can let my my up you know upstream consumer or root know and and then upstream route can decide what to do with that that thing okay using this pattern uh, it allows camel to catch and handle all exceptions that are thrown yeah camel's error handling can then determine how to deal with this this error okay um, it can retry or propagate the error back to the the caller or or do something else right just log it and and forget about it right depends on 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 the on the error type and your business requirement um, and users of Camel can set irrecoverable errors as fault messages if they want. And Camel can react accordingly and stop uh, routing the message. All right. Um, so Camel's error handling applies only within the life cycle of an exchange. Okay. That's very important concept. Um, uh, so what I try to illustrate over here is um, the error handler boundaries are basically represented over here. 
okay let's just try to understand this this uh, diagram a little bit more let's say i have a root okay and uh, where my endpoint is uh, my my uh, upstream uh, data provider is sending a file okay and this is where my root starts right so i'm consuming then i have some sort of translator then file producer and then i'm sending uh, my updated file uh, from a producer over here camel's error handling boundaries will only start okay when i manage to consume the file in this this example right okay if the file cannot even reach to to my root nothing i can do about it makes makes general sense as well right so it has to be in my context in order for me to to handle it okay um there are few uh, types of error handlers in in camel let's have a quick look so one is called default error handler as name suggests this is the default error handler that's automatically enabled you don't have to do anything and what it really means in in practical terms whenever an exception is thrown on your root it will be propagated all the way to your your consumer is is think of it as a normal java exception which we deal on a day to day basis correct there is another important one called dead letter channel okay this error handles um, it it basically implements you may have heard a design pattern or eip pattern called dead letter what it simply means is whenever an exception is thrown you catch that exception and then you send it to a destination which is typically called dead letter so you can have another process which can monitor that dead letter and then then run some business logic on on it so camel very nicely has you know implemented that pattern and i'll i'll show you one example of it okay in in the in the workshop which we're going to do um transaction error handler this is a transaction aware uh, error handler uh, i might not be covering in in this video but i'll try to do it in in the uh, future videos okay no error handler this handler is used to disable error handling altogether what it means is let's say i have a root and uh, camel gives you flexibility to kind of you know put exception handling error handling at at several places you can can put this no error handler and then it will basically disable everything okay and it simply becomes the default which means the error will be kind of you know uh, exception will be going back to your 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 caller again uh last one is logging error handler this error handler has been now deprecated okay it's not recommended by camel in favor of a uh, number 2 dead letter uh, channel okay so so camel is recommending don't use this one rather you use dead letter channel all right so this is um the end of the presentation now let's just go back to our code so what i have tried to do over here just just to demonstrate there are three ways you can handle um exception thrown by by your root one is by what we call error handler method over here okay so inside your root you can put error handler and then you can define you know one of the 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 handlers which i was showing you earlier and there is a example of dead letter channel so dead letter channel what it simply trying to say is whenever on your root exception is thrown please handle like this this is what we are telling camel on on the given root if there is exception please handle it like that and how we want it to handle it we are saying send it to dead letter channel and the end point for dead dead letter channel is, is a bit of a tongue twister isn't it so dead letter channel can be a uh, another root okay a very simple root which could be you know pointing to some external jms some database or as simple as like you know another direct route which i have got over here it could be log something as well but just just for demonstration purposes what i'm saying over here is whenever there is exception on my route please send it to this this route which is created specifically for exception handling let's try to run it okay so what we have got over here is i have a route very simple route okay and i'm using timer over here so i don't have to you know send anything to to this this consumer over here it will be automatically pinged every 1 uh, second 
inside that i have tried to put a little logic just just to demonstrate the power of exception handling so what i'm saying is when the you know there is a counter which i'm managing so what i'm asking it to do is counter you increment and get and whenever like you know the the counter has you know a mod of 2 equal to 0 um, ie like you know off on on every third call you call a method called bad which intentionally going to throw an exception okay so let's have a quick look so i have a, this bean called hello bean if i call good it's just simply going to say call good call for counter number this if it's bad it's going to say uh, you know throw some runtime exception make sense so let's try to run run this program over here and i'm wondering where my uh, counter is let's just quickly come over here hello bean where is this reading from okay so we like to use this static variable rather than defining my own okay let's do a static import okay so, and let's try to run this program just just to try it out uh, so i'm going to because i have other ones which i like to demonstrate to you later on but we are only going to run this one first okay and i'm going to disable everything else to to begin with so if i start my application now this thing should be called okay and what this exception handler root is doing let's let's try to go to this um common error handler root what it's going to do is it's simply going to write this warning saying i am in the exception handler i'm going to sleep for five second okay we don't need to because um, it was for something else and then simply going to print a body you can have a complex logic over here but i don't so what i'm simply going to do is i'm just going to write that body onto onto my log if i start my application okay straight away we don't need to submit anything every one second a uh, ticker will be you know uh, pinging over here and on third call it should start throwing exception okay as you can see um started this bad call bad call bad call okay one more thing you can do you can basically say like you know how many times you like to retry if there is exception sometime you know exception can be rec recoverable as as we were speaking earlier so camel gives you this flexibility of like you know saying how many times you would like to rec um, retry it okay so over here i simply said two so as you can see it's printing like you know first time obviously the bad call happened and then it 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 try to execute it two times okay and then it just carried on okay and then it raised the exception so this is how you use error handlers now now let's just move on and try to look at the the other types so what i'm going to do is i'm going to disable this thing now and close this file the second type the second way of of handling errors in camel is what we call on exception root this is this is one of my favorite way of, ways of doing it okay why it's, it's it's my favorite because with error handler you are kind of specifying on a global level they're saying okay whenever exception happens please handle it over here i can pick and choose how i like to deal with certain type of exceptions you know if there is a checked exception i can have a database exception i can have a, some sort of business exception or i can have some other rules which are failing right so i can actually put as many on exceptions i want over here just 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 for demonstration purpose i can have my my own exception class if i had one okay i i can say look you know in that case you try retry four time but if general exception occurs please do not retry do not retry that okay so that is the reason i like this way very much because it gives me the flexibility very much like a try catch that i can i can configure please handle this check checked exception like this but general exception maybe just just dump something on on the console that's it finish it again what you can do over here when you're using on exception method or or on exception way you can redirect to another root 
or you can simply say dot log over here along with that as i was saying to you earlier you have several ways like you no know, maximum read read deliveries delay whenever you want to retry it like you no know, maybe you would like to do a little pause 500 millisecond one second so maybe you can you can give the opportunity for for database to recover etc make sense another important thing you have to notice here is this thing called handled what does that actually mean so what we are telling camel is that whenever exception occurred i have handled it so it doesn't need to propagate all the way to my my consumer right so we are kind of catching over here and taking action and finishing it off otherwise what will happen is that exception will remain on the exchange and upper routes might see the same thing but once you do that it will be flushed it will be cleared you you done you have handled the error okay so this is the second way of of handling the error now let's go and look at the the third way which is good and you might find it quite familiar okay but it has its limitation but i thought since we are talking about the various ways i'll i'll show that to you the third and final way of of handling errors is something called do try do catch do finally does it sound familiar exactly it's like try catch finally uh, we do in in normal java so so camel guys have, have have done this this for us they're saying look if you want you can put do try execute a method if it fails then you catch it and then you end if no exception occurs it will happily continue to execute the route make sense so what you're doing is the difference if you have to compare between three the error handler the number one which we discussed it's basically global level error handling the second one on exception is scoped plus you are able to kind of you know capture uh, checked exception last but not least the third one is very local or specific you can you can surround it um, uh, you know you can surround a method call or or another root call with do and try so your your scope is very very limited it's beautiful powerful stuff okay so this is how you do um error handling in in camel i hope you like the video the code will be available on on sagu.uk website plus my github repo so download it clone the clone the code and 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 play it locally and let me know how how you find it okay um Thanks for your time please leave your feedback and if you have not subscribed please subscribe and thank you for watching